Mary Meat, I'm so happy that you've joined me today. I'm going to show you another way of doing a simple talisman that has um, some other added benefit. And the only thing you need different for this talisman than the other basic talisman that we do is you need to get your natal chart cast. You need to go to any, any place where you can get um, online where you can get an actual chart cast. And so you'll get a chart, a birth chart, and it'll look something like this. Now, you'll notice that a lot of times it'll have a bunch of lines and stuff in the middle called aspects. Just take some, like some um, white out maybe, like this, and just white out all of that in the middle so that you have this nice clean space in the middle and then just make another photocopy of it. It doesn't show up really well in the video, but these are, um, this is all the zodi zodiacal signs, right? And then this is where all my planets are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some some of that white out that I showed you before, and I'm actually going to white out just a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. So in my mind, right, I'm opening up a space. I'm opening up a space so that I can trap those thoughts that I wanna trap. Now, you can use, um, I, I, there's, there's very little space in here, so I would recommend that you use thought seeds like we do, you know, single words. Um, you don't need to sign your name because this is your chart, but what you can do is use the Theban script. And so let's use the Theban alphabet here. And we're just gonna put three, uh, or even one if you want to, let's just do one today, thought seed. You want a, an odd number, so one, three, or five. Uh, thoughts. And so um, today is uh, sacred to Mercury. I'm, I'm here on a, on a Wednesday. And so I'm thinking maybe we could do, um, uh, we could do knowledge or intelligence. Let's do intelligence. And we mean infinite intelligence. So I'm going to just put that word in here thusly. Uh, does that show up? I might use a darker pencil just for the video. Oops. Let's see if I can find a darker pencil for the video. Does that work? That's a little better. So then we just do, um, You can put that mercury symbol all the way around the four corners, right? Like kind of governing the four corners of this talisman here. And then you can just, let's use black and then we'll just trap it. We'll just close this back up. It doesn't have to be neat. It just needs to be solid. Okay. And then that's it. That's it. That's it. It's kind of a, not as pretty of a talisman as, as some of them, but boy, is it very, very effective. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, let's just use some um, Van Van to clean the space. I call upon the Carib of the East, I call upon the Carib of the South, I call upon the Carib of the West, and I call upon the Carib of the North. Please cleanse this sp space, protect us, and empower us in this circle. And then I'm going to use uh, one spray of Van Van right in the middle of the talisman. And then I happen to have, you can use Muguet, or you don't have to use any perfumes, by the way. This works with just, just pencil. Um, but I also, instead of Muguet or, or Lily of the Valley today, I'm going to use lavender. And I'm using the Provence Santé lavender, which is rather nice. So I'll do two of that. So I have an odd number of sprays of the perfumes. And then I happen to have a yellow candle here, which I will use for Mercury. And we are calling on infinite intelligence, and that's a, a very helpful to always um, to, to always know the right thing to do, to always know the right decisions to make, right? Infinite intelligence. So I'm going to completely light this. And we just use this just like a regular talisman here. I'm going to let this sit, and uh, as soon as this candle is burned down and out, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this away somewhere, like, like, like I said, in a drawer or a cabinet or on the top of a bookshelf, so that it's just laying flat, okay? And then this in infinite intelligence is really being broadcast to me because this has been personalized to my own birth chart. So, um, so get a birth chart, white out the middle of it so you have a nice writing surface and then write down one, three or five seed thoughts surrounded by the, by the symbol of the angel that you're working with. And um, you, if you can, white out those little areas on the outside of the, the perimeter of the circles first so that you can symbolically trap that thought or those thoughts into your mind. And then uh, it's optional. You can use perfumes and candles as well to, to uh, deepen and charge that, that, that uh, talisman, but they are not necessary. All that's necessary is the chart and a piece of paper. I'm sorry, a chart and a pencil and possibly some, some whiteout if you have it. If you can't trap, if you can't use the whiteout, don't worry, it'll still work. Okay, it's just anything we can do to, um, to enhance and deepen the practice.